welcome back to Freedom Go Farm. My name is Becky and today I'm going to show you my last market of the season. First I went out and harvested some flowers. These flowers are really done. I've tried to milk as much flowers as I can. These zinnias, um, as you see there are some, not many, that I try to scavenge. But as you see here, I did get a few. Um, to help me make some bouquets and so right now I'll show you what I have so far or what I'm using a lot of white zinnias um, some red zinnias and some marigolds I did plant some cosmos which I was lucky that they were blooming at that time uh, to help me with my last market and so when it comes to greenery I didn't have much I had some sunflowers just a lot of focals pretty much that you see so I actually had a really good friend who doesn't sell flowers anymore. She let me harvest some of her flowers, which I was so grateful for. A lot of uh, greenery I was able to use from her garden. Some goldenrod. She had a eucalyptus tree. I was lucky to harvest some of those and use them for the bouquets. These um, were a lot of rubecchia that I harvested. A lot of them did wilt. wasn't sure why they were in water for a long time. so. You'll see me try to use as much as I can, um, but I still have some greenery, as you see here, uh, to help me. For my glass jar arrangements, I wanted to do something different instead of just mason jars. So I went to Goodwill and I got these really nice glass jars, all different sizes and colors. I thought that would look really nice to do just something different. So now you see me prepping everything, getting my glasses, filled with water you'll see that in a few here I'm just cutting craft paper I thought I was gonna make craft paper bouquets but I really didn't end up making that many um, but I'll show you through my process of how I made all the cut flower arrangements Thank you. 
are all the bouquets that I was able to make with my flowers and my friend's farm flowers, which I'm super grateful that I was able to use them. I only made two bouquets, mixed bouquets. I put them in glass jars and I made one small bouquet with a beautiful gladiola from my friend's garden. And I am liking how everything turned out and hoping to sell um, at least some of these beautiful arrangements. Now this market wasn't like a farmer's market, it was actually a business who was having their anniversary uh, of their business and they wanted some vendors to be there for their customers and I was lucky enough to get in contact with this business owner and she wanted me at her business. So it was pretty cool, her customers were really nice. This was in the evening so I was able to do three to four hours of this event and then head home and it was not too far from my house so that was also a plus. But that was my last market of the season and I hope that next season I do even more markets, get my name out there and sell some beautiful flowers. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.